Okay, hello class. <clears throat> uh, next video I'm going to do is on capital letters. And I've kind of divided them up, them up into uh, some different categories that have similarities. So let's get started. And I'm going to try to keep the, each video a little bit shorter. And then there might be several of them. So what I'm going to use as the basis is this sheet right here in your handouts. I'm going to keep my camera where it is, but you can see this one right here. I'm going to kind of go by that. And as we progress in the class, we're going to be using uh, more and more of the variations. But let's just start with the, uh, the basics. Get these down, get comfortable with them, and then we'll kind of branch off into some of those uh, variations. Okay, so <clears throat> I've divided them up into some groups that I think will help. For example, the A, the M, and the N all kind of start the same way. So let's do a couple of those and we'll kind of see how that looks. So you can see the A. I'm going to make this so you can see this while I'm working on it. And again, there's so many variations, but I'll just kind of go through this. So in this A, you're going to start at this point right here. And then the downstroke is where you're going to add your heaviness uh, and then practice that transition. And then just this right here, the M starts off basically the same way. And you can elongate this tail to add a flourish. I'm going to do that with the M. So instead of starting here, I'll start like this. And then it's basically like the, the A, upstroke light. And this, you can do a lot of different things. This could be brought way down into a flourish. I'll just kind of finish it off like this. Okay. And then the end kind of basically starts the same way very thin. Notice the subtle curvature to this end right here. It's not a straight line. It has that S shape, but it's standing up straight. So very subtle. And you want to end up down here someplace, not way over here. So it's, and then it thins out near the end. See how it starts out thin, gets thick. And then this line here has, wants to be parallel to this. Thin. And this you can kind of add whatever you want to, to it. Okay, so that's that group. So if you practice these, practice these in the groupings that I've showed you, you'll find them much easier to, to work on. Okay, the next one that I've chosen is the letter I, and there's, you're gonna see some similarities between some of these groups. Okay, so the I and the J are very close together. In fact, they're almost identical. The J is just a little bit taller. Come down a little bit closer here. Okay. So you're gonna the, your first stroke is right here. Start off thin, thick, transition. And then this stroke comes out thin and then ends up like that. Let me do one more here. I'm not sure I like that one. Uh, this doesn't come out straight. It, it's immediately kind of bends down like that. And you can cross over like this or stop short. The J is basically just longer. And again, like I've said before, context will be everything. Okay, so we got the A, the M, the N, and the J and the I. You can see the similarities. So if you want to jot these down as you watch the video, uh, just to keep your, okay. The V and the W. I'm gonna find a place where I can do this so you can still see it. Okay. Notice this little curve right here is the same on the V and W. You can add that to a lot of letters, but uh, it just happens on, on this sample that, that you have in your handouts, that sample right there. That's how that, that would look in there. So the, your first stroke is this, downstroke. That's your first stroke. And then notice this has that little bit of a curvature to it like you had in the J and the I, okay? 
Uh, it's that same curvature. And then the V is gonna go up like this. Okay. So you'll have to practice. You wanna have a little bit of a curvature at the bottom. Don't give it one of these, okay? It's just a slight curvature. The W, the same thing. And notice how this curves up. See that curve? I'm doing it slower so you can see it. And then this is parallel to the first one. See how these are parallel? And then this last one is just an arc up. And this is where you can, we'll get into this later, where you can add more flourishes. This can be a flourish, but just practice it this way to start with. Okay. Uh, the H and the K. So I got room to do that down here. Okay. See that same little, that little flourish right there? That's just like on the, the V and the W. And this is kind of like a J, not quite exactly the same, but, and then you can start the H right in here. See how I aimed up like that? A loop, come down parallel, and then finish off with a, with a smaller loop at the bottom. Again, these can become flourishes. We'll get into that later. I could have made that up a little bit lower, but, but you get the idea. The K, the same way. Just the camera just a little bit. Now this is kind of tricky. This part right here touches the, the vertical stroke above the center. You don't want to be way down here. Now when you start doing variations, you can alter that. But I'm going to come in here and this has a slight curve to it. See how I got thin right here? You want to kind of start out thin thick and then uh, join that line above the center and then a bump and then come down. I think my first one was better. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving through these so this video doesn't end up being a half an hour long. Okay, a um, couple more letters then I'll stop and start up another video. The Y and the U, see how this part is the same on both of them? So we're gonna start Immediately with a heavy stroke, heavy on the down stroke, and aim up to here, and then come straight down, kind of parallel to this, and then you can finish this off. Again, this is where we'll add different flourishes. The U is almost the same exact as this, only it doesn't have this tail. So you start out thin, but immediately you give it a down stroke, down stroke. I could have made that a little bit taller, but that's the U. You can see how that's very similar to the Y. So if you copy these groups down, practice them in groups, when you practice one letter, you're gonna be practicing the other ones. Okay. Um, I think we got time for one more, and then I'll start a new video. Okay, the C and the G. You can see how this curve, this loop right here is the same as on the G. The only difference is, see how much taller the C is compared to the G? So this curve is more of a horizontal. Oh, I got a phone call, hang on. I'm gonna start a new video.